you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 7th monday let's read this day with the blessings of god by reading from the holy gospel according to say luke chapter 5 verses 17 to 26 One day while he was teaching Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting nearby they had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem and the power of the Lord was with him to heal just then some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a bed they were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus but finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles into the middle of the crowd in front of jesus when he saw their faith he said friend your sins are forgiven you then the scribes and the pharisees began to question who is this who is speaking blasphemies who can forgive sins but god alone when jesus perceived their questions he answered them why do you raise such questions in your hearts Which is easier to say your sins are forgiven you or to say stand up and walk but so that you may know that the son of man has authority on earth to forgive sins he said to the one who was paralyzed i said to you stand up and take up your bed and go to your home immediately he stood up before them took what he had been laying on and went to his home glorifying god amazement seized them and they glorified god and were filled with awe saying we have seen strange things today this is the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends the first reading from isaiah expresses the excitement and the anticipation of god's coming in all this the gospel is an example of this promise being realized it is luke's version of the healing of a paralyzed man who can only reach jesus by being lowered through the roof of the house the efforts which the sick man's friends make to get him to jesus is an indication of their tremendous faith and confidence in jesus christ however the man may have been somewhat surprised to hear the words of jesus my friend your sins are forgiven that was not what he came for he hoped something could be done about his paralysis but the pharisees and scribes present were even more shocked who is this who speaks blasphemies but who god alone can forgive sins of course they were perfect right but they did not put two or uh, and the two together and identify the presence of god in jesus so jesus asked them which is easy to say your sins are forgiven or raise up and walk naturally the first is easy to say but to show that uh, jesus has the authority really to forgive sins he says to the paralyzed man i said to you raise pick up your mat and go home immediately the man stands up before them all picks up his mat and goes home to understand what is happening here we have to realize the perceived close relationship in those days between sin and sickness sickness especially something chronic like paralysis or blindness was often perceived to be the result of a or punishment for sin so if jesus can totally remove the sickness it must mean the sin which caused it has gone too jesus can forgive sins we may not express things quite the same way now but there was a lot lot of truth in the belief that there was a relationship between sickness and behavior a large portion of people are sick and even in the hospital because their bodies are revealing symptoms of disease which has its roots in their hearts and minds and feelings the healing power of jesus which we all need 
has to extend to every part of our being, mind, body, heart, and in our relationship with others. We do need the healing of Christ, which removes the things which paralyzes or handicap in us. Our in our following Him, we need to stand anew in the life that He gives, and then find our way to our true home, which is to be with Him. Amen. May God bless.